I know I'm just some small nobody on the internet, but if the team at Ulanzi ever watches this video or this gets back to you in any way, y'all owe me a check. What's up creators? Today we're gonna be talking about the Ulanzi 60 watt by color cob light and why I think it is an excellent light for beginner creators. Before we get started with today's video, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Larry. I'm a content creator. I've been making videos for over 10 years. I'm also a photographer and I work at a social media company in the agency department. Over the course of my time creating content, I have run into several issues with lights, whether they be the panel lights or more expensive lights. And one of the things that always comes down to purchasing lights is the cost. You know, if you go with cheaper lights, then sometimes you risk the batteries dying really fast, having to purchase additional things, the lights just not working or not being color accurate. Then you can go the more expensive route, but then that means you have to cough up the cash to even get the lights in your possession and then figuring out all of the extra features that go with those lights. The light we're looking at today solves a lot of those problems. I will say there is one caveat and I will get to that when we get to the cons of this light. But overall, I really truly believe that the Ulanzi 60 watt bi color cob light is an excellent choice for beginner creators. So chances are if you click this video, you're researching 60 watt lights. And one of the common threads that you'll see with 60 watt lights is while they do provide a nice amount of light and a nice amount of power, they can be a little pricey. And so if you're looking for something a little more powerful than the 40 watt versions or a little more powerful than the little handheld, really small square nan light looking things, I know Aperture makes a couple of those, but if you're looking for something a little more powerful, the 60 watt light may be the version for you. One of the things that makes this light extremely special is the price. There's no way around it. If you're looking at something like the Amaran or the Godox or the Zhiyun or the Nan Light, you're looking at spending at least 160 to 300, sometimes even $400 for a lighting setup. The difference and the thing that makes the Ulanzi a little bit more special than those others is that this comes in right at $100 and you might be able to get it on sale for a little bit cheaper than that. And so if price is a factor in your decision, like I believe it would be for a lot of smaller creators, $100 and you're still getting a 60 watt light. Now it doesn't come with all of the bells and whistles and a lot of the extra features, but if what you're looking for is the power of the 60 watt light, then this should take care of you. The next thing that really comes into play with this light is the fact that it is by color. So I mentioned Godox and Amaran and Nanlite. All of those do offer a bi color option. Some of them don't. Um, and that's where you'll run into some issues. What I can say about using this light is that it is bi color. So the light temperature goes from 2700 all the way to 6500 Kelvin. This gives you a nice balance between the super white bright light and the super orange light. Having this range and versatility really gives you a lot of options when it comes to setting up your shots and shooting uh, with correct lighting. So you could shoot indoors and have it balanced to daylight or even match some of the lighting inside if that's something that you prefer. Or if you're outside, you can make sure that the lighting matches what's outside or even create different effects using the different temperatures on that light. Another main benefit is if you are more of an intermediate content creator and you're filming on cameras that allow you to change and set the white balance in the camera, this allows you to match your camera to the white balance of your light, making sure that the video that you get, uh, you don't have to color correct or white balance correct in post. If you Google this light and you look it up and you go to the Ulanzi website. If you're not paying close enough attention, it'll look like this light is wireless, like it runs on batteries that charge. Well, I'm here to set the record straight, it does not. You do need to plug it in for it to work. That being said, the cable that they provide you is extremely long. I think it's well long enough for you to use and bring to shoots. And the other part of that is that it is portable. See, this is very small. It, basically fits in the palm of your hand. And it also comes with this built-in handle. 
So you're not having to like awkwardly carry it any kind of way. You can literally scoop it up and hold it like this. This also makes it easy if you need to handhold the light. A lot of people take those kinds of things for granted, but in certain situations, you may need to handhold the light. You may not always have a light stand or someone else to hold it for you. And having this handle, I believe, is a good feature as well. Much like the Ulanzi 40 watt light, this light also comes with the reflector, kind of a diffusion thing, but it also comes with something that the 40 watt light did not come with, and that is a Bowens mount adapter, which I have misplaced for the filming of this video, but it does come with that so that you can use your actual Bowens mount adapters and modifiers with this light. The last thing I wanna go over is a few of the modes that come on this light. And so if we go ahead and turn it on, give it a second to warm up. All right, so it's on. It's actually set to 100 because I was using it for a project, but let's turn that, oh, that's the temperature. Let's turn it down and we'll put it on one. So this is 1%. So there's four, there's a small LCD panel here and then there's four buttons. So there's a effects button and then a standard button. And so if we go to the effects button, you can cycle through all of the effects, strobe, thunder, TV, paparazzi, flame, etc. If you're doing your research, this light boasts 12 different kinds of effects. I'm not gonna cycle through all of them. I've used some of them even for content videos. So there's a video that I posted over on Instagram. I'll have it playing on the screen here, but I actually used the paparazzi lighting effect for this video and I got a lot of good feedback on just the effect and how it helped elevate the experience of that video. I know that a lot of times people see those effects and they think well, that's just gimmicky, but there are situations where those lighting effects come in handy and that video was one of them. So outside of only creating content and making videos, I've actually used this light on a recent product photography shoot. Instead of using a flash like I normally would, I decided to try continuous lighting during this photo shoot. And instead of using the provided light that was in the studio, I decided to try out the Ulanzi 60 watt light. I am very pleased with the images that I was able to produce using this light as a continuous light. I did have it set at 100%, but having that continuous light allowed me to see in real time how the photos would look, how the shadows would cast. And it also played a really important role in having the client who was on site be able to see some of the shadows and kind of get a feel for what the photos would look like after I took them. So I've had this light and I've been using it for about a month and I am extremely satisfied and pleased with this purchase. I use the 60 watt version along with the 40 watt version. I actually used it at a recent music video shoot. I used both of them and it was a really pleasant experience. The client was slightly impressed with the lighting setup that I was able to provide. And overall, I think it helped light the video well in a couple challenging situations. So if you are a creator on a budget and you're looking for a 60 watt version of a light, but you're not trying to spend two to 300 to $500 on lights, I would highly recommend that you consider the Ulanzi 60 watt light. One final feature that I wanna point out that I do not currently take advantage of, but I may potentially take advantage of in the future, is that this light does have a USB-C port that it can be powered through. So if you have something like V-mount batteries or batteries that can power larger devices, devices that require a larger power output, you could potentially mount a battery somewhere near this light and have it essentially run on that battery pack. Uh, I have not personally tried that yet, but that is a possibility. I can't end this video without saying that I've actually filmed several YouTube videos using this light. If you couldn't tell, I'm not using it currently because I actually held the light in my hand. What I'm being lit with today is the 40 watt version of the Ulanzi light, but I have used the 60 watt version for several of the videos that I posted earlier this year. I'll link those up in the card above so you can check those out. If you have questions about this light, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to everyone who leaves a comment. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. My name is Larry G. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.